The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start the show in a rather unusual way today. We want to welcome a new guest from Terre Haute, Indiana, none other than my cousin. And she is the daughter of the lady that kept uh, Louise's restaurant in business for 77 years. And our family fed for all those years. God bless you, Esther. It's great having you on. I don't know if you remember this, darling, but when I went to... Uh, St. Anthony's Hospital when I was just a little whippersnapper there at 17 years of age and you got me a job as an orderly and the next year I became a operating room technician and it supported me for all during my college years. You've always been by my side and we certainly appreciate it. Uh, her sister Roseanne passed away here about four years ago here in Tucson and we got to spend some time with her towards the end of her life but uh, Esther's lived a charm life just like I have. We've been very lucky that way. So welcome, dear. Anyway, let's get on. We'll take a look at the uh, NASDAQ. Excuse me. Let's try it again, folks. The DAX and also the FTSE, both of those are rolling over. And, uh, folks, I'll tell you this. These markets are looking bearish, more bearish all the time now. It's very interesting. I'm going to post the chart here for the uh, E-mini S&P because we just hit a magical number here this morning. I'll post this so you'll be able to see it. We made the uh, ABCD pattern to the downside down there at uh, 45.90. We've now made the 38% retracement, folks, at 43.48, 46.48. If we can get above 46.48 today, that's got a positive sign because we've completed that large ABCD pattern that we talked about here on the show yesterday. Uh, if you'll remember, I think I can get it up here without too much trouble. We had had, yes, here it is. We'll get up here to take a quick look at it, and then we'll be able to look. Our guest today, by the way, is going to be none other than Alfie Lavoy of Air Software. He is the he's the oldest. Well, he, well, he is pretty. Yeah, he's a little older than me. So, uh, but Alfie has probably got the best cycle program for cycles in the market that you'll ever find. Uh, his titanium program, and he's going to give it to the folks here at a much, I mean, a huge discount. I mean, like I think 70% off or something. So, that's going to be really good to look at. Now let's move on here and take a look at one other uh, thing that we follow here close. I'll have to share this with you folks. Someone was kind enough to send me a picture. Uh, basically, I guess it's a self-portrait of myself. And the caption is, it says, I just had a bad nightmare again that I found everyone found out that I'm in my late 30s and I still have no idea how the stock market works. Rich Anderson was able to send it to me. He's probably saved it for 40 years, but uh, you don't have to worry about what the stocks are going to do, folks. Nobody's, No one knows what they're going to do. You have to do one thing, and that's to control the risk that you're on. Once you do that, you know, you're going to be far better off than anything else. Everything we do here is related to the, uh, the risk factor of this. Just a perfect example is the gold market. Now, we bought the gold yesterday at 1754, and you add $62 to that, which is twice the harmonic number. It gives you the high of the day at 1816, and the high was 181560. So we should have a nice correction here of about 382, taking us down to about 1798 today. But gold still looks bullish, in my opinion. So I think we ought to you know, keep that on the, the burner for being... Uh, you know, still being positive. So let's look at that. And also, we've had a nice run down in the stocks. It's a Friday. So I'm not, not surprised that the market had major support there. But uh, we've got to get that market above 43, uh, 48 today in the E-mini. And uh, that'll give us a chance to have a little bit more of a rally. But right now, this is looking very, very bearish, folks. We've shared a lot of information about this potential bearishness. And I wanted to bring a couple of them to your attention. One of them here is, uh, oh, before I do that, sorry for getting off the bat because I promised uh, George in Hong Kong that I would uh, cover his. He sent me, if you remember George in Hong Kong, uh, about three weeks ago he was in, oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. What have I done now? Just a minute. I've knocked over my uh, speakerphone. <laughs> 
Oh, dear. Hold on just a second. There we go. I think we're back in business. He's now in Pfizer, and I'll get the price of the Pfizer. Oh, just a second here. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to have to get back in the den, folks, so just give me a just give me a second. I'm uh, T-I-G-E-R. Ordinarily, Esther, I'm not this flustered, but because you're on the show, I have to be a little bit more conservative, <laughs> if that's possible. We get back in. Okay, I think we're back now. And let's, uh, I think I'm back in the den without any trouble. So I wanted to post this chart here. This is the chart of Pfizer. And I'll bring the I'll bring the, the chart of Tesla up in just a second. But if you remember, he was asking a question about Tesla. Now he's asking me the same question. You'll see where he bought. He bought the uh, the Pfizer down here at 50, and now it's trading at 61. And he asked me, what should I do? I gave him the same answer that I gave him when he was in Tesla. And let's take a look at Tesla, and you're going to be able to see the same thing. So hold on one second. Here it is. And here is the start, the chart of Tesla. You'll bring it up here. Now, here's where we were. You remember when we were at 1,200? He asked the question, what should I do? And the answer, George, is the same as it is in Pfizer. If you have to ask me the question of whether you should be in or out, you should be out. Because on that painting right behind me here in the office, it says, number one trading rule of all is if when you're in doubt, get out. So you're in doubt and you got out when you should have got out and the market was telling you that. Now regarding the price of Tesla here, I think that's the S&P getting ready to move here a second, folks. I have to turn off my, uh, yep, it just broke the 382 that we got a good chance to some more rally for the day. That's a good thing to look at. Now let's move on here just one second here. I get back to Tesla. Tesla now, look at this chart closely. The gap folks was at uh, 910 and the low that we made yesterday was 908 nine, so it's filled it's filled that gap that's a very very important thing to uh, remind ourselves that when that's happened you've got to be able to uh, you know got to be able to do that so very very important I think you've got to be able to do that. Now, those of you that are trading the NASDAQ, uh, right now we are just hitting the 382 retracement in the NASDAQ. And so that one's acting uh, pretty nicely also. And uh, so keep, uh, keep your eyes on that because these markets are going to get very, very volatile and even more volatile than what we've already seen. Now, I've been able to uh, get some information from the Elliott Wave people, from several of our subscribers, and they asked me to talk about those today. And one of uh, they wanted to show you just where we are on a long-term basis of some of these uh, bubbles that we've had. Uh-oh, just a second here, boys and girls. i got to hit this out, get this out of the way. Okay, all right, move this out of the way just a tiny bit here. Okay, there we go. Get this out of the way, and here we go. Get this chart up for you. I just got so many charts today that uh, this is the highest equity valuations in the history of the world, folks. From our, We are higher than we were in the Great Depression. Hey, let's be right back. We'll take a break. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, Joe, folks, when I post these charts from Elliott Wave and other people just showing you the overbought condition of the market, I do this for your protection and also for mine and other people because these markets don't go straight up. You know, Isaac Newton proved that for every reaction, there's an equal but opposite reaction, and what goes down must come up, and what goes up must come down. And that's what we're looking at in some of these things. This last one that I posted should be the most scariest of all. This is the Rydex funds. I mean, the people that, you know, put their money into the market uh, all the time. And you can see here, they, they've been buying incessantly over the past two years. Remember the figure that we talked about earlier in this week, there's been more money put into the stock market during 19 or during 2021 than there has been in the other uh, 20 years combined, going back to, you know, way back to 2000. I mean, so everybody's in the market. Now, the question is, when they get start to get out, who are they going to sell to? That hasn't happened yet. There's no panic coming in. I don't know if there will be a panic. History says there would be because we're in the generation that should see it. The last one we had was in 1929. Given to that fact, if you'll remember, if you've read anything about the market of 1929, you know, uh, Mr. Kennedy, John Kennedy Sr., uh, he was, of course, uh, real heavily involved in the, uh, the stock market, and he was out. Out, and he was actually short during the crash into 1932. And in 1932, the merchandise mark in Chicago, the largest commercial building in the world, and I still think it is, uh, was up for sale because they were in bankruptcy. And he bought that building for $1.2 million in 1932. When the Kennedy family sold it, I believe in 1978, I recall, the rent on the, the property was a million dollars a month. So you can see the type of money that they made on that, not counting the value of the property, which was right on the Chicago River. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what happens. Just be careful up in here, folks, because something wicked this way comes, and I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's getting closer and closer all the time. So we've got to be extremely extremely careful. I posted the chart about how the market breath is looking very bad. Jeff Huge was our guest yesterday from Alpha Insights. He also brought us this chart and warned us of the fact that the market was getting a little bit overbought, and that was a key to uh, 
you know, paying attention to these things. So let's remind ourselves that uh, you have to be very, very careful in these markets and make sure that you don't make any, you know, really, really serious mistakes. Uh, several people have asked me why didn't we take profits uh, in the gold when we had $6,000 profit from yesterday because we think we've got a chance to make some more. I, I recommended that if people wanted to take profits, we were up two harmonic numbers at uh, 18, I think it was 1815 or something right in that ballpark. I said, but you know, if you don't get that pullback, well, you are getting a little bit pulled back down. It's down about $12 from there. But that's going to give you some other great opportunities. Remember, folks, our motto here is not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. Warren Buffett says, rule number one, don't lose your money. Rule number two, don't break rule number one. So you're going to have to take losses, but you got to keep them small. And when when, Char, when uh, George from Hong Kong asked the question about Tesla about three weeks ago, and he asked the question again about Pfizer, I gave him the same answer. George, if you have to answer that question, by golly, you got to stand out of, stand out of the way. So that's it. Now, hold this. We've got to love the gold. Oh, Mr. Z saying about the gold trade. Yeah, we got pretty lucky on that one. They don't always work that way, but the stocks have worked well, and the, uh, the S&P is working pretty well. We just missed the crude oil by a heartbeat, but there's nothing else you can do about that. There'll be others coming down the road. We're going to have some incredible volatility, folks. If you think we've seen volatility now, you're going to see days uh, this coming year in 2020 where the Dow will swing probably 1,000 points a day. I know you think that's very hard to understand, but this is nothing. We hardly ever go 2%, you know, in a day in the Dow Jones. But when the market starts down, fear is a greater emotion than greed. We've talked about that. You know, greed is more euphoric and everybody's feeling great and doing everything. With fear, you have physiological symptoms of fear. You have diaphoresis or sweating. You got chalky white lips. You know, you've got uh, uh, bulging eyeballs, okay? Uh, you're, you bite your nails or whatever it happens to be. Your, your heart beats faster with uh, palpitations and stuff. So you see those when you have fear, but you don't see that in the market. That's why markets drop faster than they go up. And look how fast this market's going to go up. So if it does start, hey, remember, 2000, the market dropped 80%. 2008, the market dropped 80%. And here we are now in 2021. How much is it going to drop? I don't know. Maybe it's not going to drop at all. But it's at least it started to doing what we're doing. If you remember, we posted this chart last week, and we're going to do it again right here. This is from our friend over in London, Mr. AZ. And he said that the high on that should be around 47.27 plus or minus. And the high was 47.31. So he's a pretty smart dude. And I had the, the fortune of working with him for uh, well over uh, 15 years. And uh, it's, you know, he just knows what he's doing. And these are just pattern, folks. I'm not looking at the fundamentals. This thing with the interest rates doesn't mean anything, in my opinion. It's just a matter of the fact that we're just looking at uh, the markets that are just jumping around. And they're going to continue to jump around. That's why this volatility is going to be so you know, extremely important as we look at this. Now, I wanted to bring uh, natural gas to your attention because we've talked about this several times. All I've got to do is find the darn chart. There it is right here. Hold on. The reason why I have to uh, hold on just a second here, we'll get this up here and take a look at it. Uh, okay. And I, I will post it in just a second, uh, Z. Just a minute. I want to get this with the – this is the natural gas. Folks, we made a new low today. We went down to 362. The old, had, the, the old low had been 363. So we made a lower low. We've had a nice bounce. So we're getting ready to get a buy signal in natural gas. That'll probably be next week sometime. So that's what we're looking at. And I kept this for Mr. Z because he was probably going to ask me that question. <laughs> Let's get this up here. Here we are. Here is what we were looking at for the uh, AI for today. Uh, that's the artificial intelligence program that we work with. You see we had that strong, uh, heavy bias until the opening right around 1030. Then we were expecting a really strong rally to go in to about 11 o'clock, which was about uh, how long ago was that? That was about 25 minutes ago. And the number we were looking at on the upside was 49.48, which was a 382 retracement of that move. I don't know where it was trading at that time, but uh, – 
that was where the sell signal came in at uh, 46.48. We were risking 10 points at that point, but we had made a great deal of money on the short side, so that was very, very helpful to us uh, on that. Also, the bond trade that we were looking at this morning worked pretty good. The gold is still up on the day, even though it's given off about $12 uh, from that level. What's interesting, though, if you look at the NASDAQ, and I know a lot of you will go and double-check this yourself. Look at the high of yesterday in the NASDAQ. And then look at the low today in the NASDAQ and watch this rally. The 382 on this came in exactly at 15,956, and the high was 15,956, and it's now uh, 25 handles. It's 50 handles below that already. So that has come into play uh, perfectly in the NASDAQ. Do it yourself. You know, like the 21 says, defy human nature. Do the work yourself. You'll be able to figure it out. But that's exactly what's happened so far today. It's on a Friday, and we're in a holiday atmosphere here, and things are going to be really interesting next week because we only have three and a half days of trading. Hey, let's take a break here. Our guest is going to be Alfie Lavoy of Air Software. Don't miss it. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I'd like to welcome our guest for today, none other than Alfie Lavoie of Air Software. Alfie, how are you doing today, my friend? 
Good. I'm doing good. Alfie, I don't know if you remember this, but 33 years ago, 1988, I was in Las Vegas getting ready to introduce my book, Astro Cycles, The Trader's Viewpoint, and Commander Williams was supposed to introduce me, but he was ill, and so you sat in for him, and you didn't even know me or anything, but introduced me and stuff, and of course, we became uh, very, very dear friends over the years, but I have to tell yeah. the folks, my, I have to tell them my favorite Alfie Lavoie story. We were in Connecticut uh, visiting Carol and Alfie for about a week. And uh, we went to dinner at the casino one night, and Alfie does not gamble at all, and Sarah likes to play the slot machines. And I, you know what? And this is this is a true story, folks. He went up to Sarah and he said, "Go play this machine," and she won. And he said, "Now I'll go over and play that machine," and she won. And then she went over to the third machine, and then she won. And you said, "Okay, we're done for the day." Do you remember that, Alfie? I mean, she won yeah. like only one hundred and fifty dollars, but she hit. She had, she didn't lose. I mean, on three straight yeah. machines, that was uh, just totally. We should we yeah. should market would be that easy for us, right? <laughs> yeah, we hey. told her exactly where to face. You know? Yeah, yeah, no that's right. A compass on my phone, yes. Yes, I remember that. She was she was blown away with it because she he she viewed some of this stuff as I have new to a frog, at least during that time. But she's seen some things that happened over the years that worked pretty good. Alfie, you told me you know, when we were talking this past week that you're having a special sale for us folks here at TFNN on your titanium software. And the question that I'd like to ask you to answer is how long did it take? you to do this. You had Bill Meridian and, and Serge and some other people doing it, but it, it's been over 30 years developing this, isn't it? Yeah, we started writing uh, astrology trading software in 1982. Wow. Yeah, Holy I cow, that's somebody, 39. Uh, that came and see me. He had a seat, I forgot, you know, at 87 years old, I keep forgetting names. But, uh, you know, he had a seat uh, on Wall Street in, in New York. And he came and see me, and he wanted. He got me into astrology and trading. And he said, oh, if you can write a software using astrology and, and get 55%, I'll make you rich. <laughs> well, you, you've certainly accomplished that part, that's for sure. Alfie, uh, I have another couple of questions. You know, folks, Alfie and I don't talk as much as we used to, and that's my fault, not his. But Alfie, do you still do, do work for Pepsi and stuff where you uh, select where they're supposed to be putting their stores and things? Are you still doing that? Yep, I'm still doing wow. that. I, wow. I have, I have about 20 businesses that has been with me for about 40 years. And, you know, uh, I tell them what to do, how to do it, and, and you know, especially, you know, should I close this store, open this store, you know, this kind wow. of stuff. Well, you must be doing it right to keep customers for that long, that's for sure. Tell us about the titanium software. What's all in it, Alfie? Well, right now, uh, you know, titanium, we don't, we don't. We don't recommend the titanium. We're going to pull it off the market in about like uh, at the end of the year. What we did, you know, remember back in 1982, we started writing uh, software. Nobody really knew how to use astrology with the market. So, you know, they bought the titanium, and then they say, well, maybe we should put that in there, put this in there. It got up to a point where the titanium one was like a hat. 25% of the stuff you couldn't even use. Okay. So in the last year, <clears throat> year and a half, what I've been doing is going through, you know, uh, talking to people that use it and find out this works good, this works good. So we pull all those things out of there, and we came out with the Alpha Trading System 1, uh, which we start selling last, uh, last uh, January. And now we just came out with the Alpha Trading System 2 using more of the titanium that works. I redid all the artificial intelligence, create all new models. It, it's very good now. Huh? Well, it was good before, so if it's good now, that has got to be better. Now, you're offering a special price for the folks? Yeah, we give 10% for Christmas. And it's cheap. Remember, the titanium was 3500 bucks. Yes. <clears throat> and people were buying it. Now for the the Alpha Trading System one uh, is four ninety nine, and wow. if, if you update to the other one, it's another four ninety nine. It's a thousand dollars, and it's better than the, the, than the titanium. You know, wow, that's, it's funny, that's a, uh, Larry, because uh, Carol, you know, my wife is my business partner. She runs yes. more or less runs the business, 
And, you know, in the last month, she's been telling me, you know, I got this guy that wants to buy titanium, at least 10 of them. I said, talk him out of it. You know, <laughs> I, I, you know, she said, but the other one is $3,500. No, no, yeah. tell him, the, you know, the other one. Yeah, Carol is a real princess, boy, that's for sure. Oh, my gosh, it's been so long since we've known each other, Alfie. I just can't even believe how long it's been. But, folks, I am talking to the real prince of the commodity markets and stock markets in astrology. The, there is no one that has your experience, Alfie, because you brought uh, Bill Meridian into the fold and a whole bunch of other folks through the years that uh, you've helped teach some of this stuff. And fortunately, we've been able to meet each other at least once every couple of years and share our information. Now, how would the folks uh, reach you, Alfie, if they're interested? in uh, you know getting into the new Alfie 2 or Alfie 1 what what's the best way well, for them to reach you the best thing is on the website and you know uh, the website is very easy it's www period alfie and uh, a l p h e e dot com Okay, that's good. That's very it's good. Fine. My, A L P H E E yeah yeah, yeah. Well, I can understand that hey listen question is Rob Hand still alive yeah, he Rob Hand for some reason. I talked to him once in a while, but he hasn't. Ba he, he has backed off quite a bit into uh -huh. traveling like I did. I travel oh. all over the world for years and yeah. years. And and I, uh, two years ago, I told Carol, "That's it. Don't book me up anywhere." Yeah, I'm through. And I also and I have to say that Alfie and Carol are my own personal astrologers, I'm proud to say, and they have certainly helped me along the way when what to do and what not to do on some of these things I should have done. In fact, the only time I ever really screwed up was you told me not to do the deal with those guys over in uh, the Middle East, and I went ahead and tried it for three months, and I, I remember calling you. I said, oh, my God, Alfie. I said, you were sure right on that one. That was a disaster. And uh, <laughs> you told me that even before it happened. Hey, listen, I want to wish you and Carol the happiest of holidays. And we'll have you on again right after the first of the year. Okay, buddy? Okay, thank you. And have you, a, a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You bet. Thank you, Alfie. We'll talk to you later, my friend. Alfie Lavoy, okay. folks. He's the dean yeah. of the astrologers. Uh, you bet. But yeah. uh, Shane Smolian uses the uh, programs from Alfie uh, quite uh, regularly. And, of course, Shane is an experienced astrologer also, which is really good. Okay, we've got another break coming up here pretty soon. When we get back from the break, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit more about that NASDAQ and the number that it hit while we were on the air here. The number we were looking at in the S&P, of course, was uh, 46, 48, and uh, we're now trading at uh, uh, 46.30. The high was, uh, I think, 46.57. The NASDAQ went to the exact at 15,956 I had written down here and we'll be talking about that when we get back uh, from this first break and then we've got a few other things that, that I want to talk about overall we'll be right back folks Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the NASDAQ that we were talking about right before we had Alfie as our guest. And I wanted to bring to your attention to the fact that we hit that exact number to the penny, folks. And this is the largest, the wildest of all the indices we trade. This, this shows you the importance of the 382. Does it work all the time? No, of course not. But does it work some of the time? Yeah, it does. A lot more than some of the time. It works about 60% of the time. The problem that people don't understand is the fact that it hits that number is not nearly as important as what it's telling you. It's telling you at that particular point, you do not have to risk any more than a very, very small amount to see if you're right. I mean, look at the the, the S&P, uh, which is even wilder than the NASDAQ. It went a few points higher than the uh, thing, it's already down $1,000 from that number. So it helps helps you where you are. We, we did the same thing yesterday, folks. We're right here on the air. When we were here, we talked about the fact that we were looking at the, the foreign exchange markets, of course, which we trade euro and the pound and the Australian dollar. And this is a daily chart on the Australian dollar. And you'll notice here the high yesterday uh, was uh, the, the number we were looking at was 7205. That was a sell signal. The high was 7230. It's now $600 in, in your favor after only risking $200. Uh, against you and now it's up six hundred dollars and dropping quickly so that's a that's a situation that you you put the the cart before the horse how much do you have to risk remember folks what we do is nothing like gambling in gambling it and an event starts and it ends and you don't have any control in between it's the flip of the coin roll of the dice spin of the wheel uh the toss of the ball blow of the whistle whatever it happens to be once that game starts you don't have any control over it until the the final the whistle is finally blown and the game is over whether the turn of the card whatever it happens to be but what we do we can be in something in one second and be out of it in two seconds we have total control the second thing is we get to vary our bet once we see whether we're right or not so if it starts to work we could add the contracts to it or something like that add shares to it but that's not the case with gambling so the only thing that relates to what we do with gambling is we keep score with money that's the only thing you've got to keep that in mind uh, you know because it's very very important the other thing to keep in mind that this past week on, on Sunday night let's look at this because we made a new high on all of these futures Sunday night. This is the cash S&P that I'm pulling up here. You can see that uh, triple top that we had in here, with the, which is the head and shoulders pattern. We went a couple of ticks above that number, exactly to that 4732 number we were talking about. And the market has rolled over since that time. So that's it. 
Okay, um, uh, Mr. Z is telling us that the old March corn is breaking out, which we were hoping to see. Thank you, Mr. Z, for bringing that to our attention. And I noticed the coffee is still doing quite well. So all of those are working very, very nicely. Let's see where we are here, if we can get that corn chart up for everybody and let them see it. And that is going to be interesting here. Let's get it there. I think, yep, we're going to be able to do it. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We've got it running for you right here. There's what we're looking at. We're looking at a price objective at around 610 uh, in the corn. And we're going to have Rich Anderson on next week, the Christmas week, because Rich is going to be talking to us about the farmers, the, the dilemma they're having with the fertilizer and the seed. All of those things are going crazy. The nitrogen that they use to replenish the soil and stuff is three times the cost it was last year. And that's related to the natural gas, yet natural gas has just made new lows for the year. Uh, this morning. It's rallied a little bit in here, but it's doing a little bit better right now. So anyway, let's keep in mind here that uh, we do have Rich Anderson on. I think it's going to be good. Mr. Z, what's the last price in the in the March uh, March corn, my friend? The last I had was around six bucks. So I don't know what uh, what it, we're also going to try to have Simon only on too. But boy, he is really busy because of all the the stuff that's going on in several of the farms that he had. Uh, through the uh, Kentucky area got hit pretty badly, but uh, uh, you know they have to help the farmers out themselves. But they're doing okay. At 597, very good, yeah, because it broke out about 592, and now we're looking for a price about 15 cents higher, at least up to that 610 level, where you have the uh, butterfly pattern coming in at the 78.6 percent retracement. But that will, it might be today, but you know it's a Friday. And remember, we they start slowing down trading Christmas week, folks, starting on Monday. It starts slowing Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday. I mean, after Tuesday, it's history. And, of course, uh, we have a Christmas Eve is going to be uh, a holiday. That's the 24th. The market will be closed and on Friday. And so Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to be very, very sparse. And But that doesn't mean the can't, market can't move because if you don't have traders in there, the liquidity, liquidity can dry up. And just a slight movement can make the markets move very dramatically. So don't let that lull you into any complacency. That's not the way to, to handle this. Because remember, it's not how much money you lose or how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. Winners think how much money I can lose. Losers think how much money I can win. And that is the motto of Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's talk here a little bit here about Mr. Z here because he was talking about coffee last week and I believe he was, uh, we were looking, this is as of Sunday night folks uh, last week, a very strong support in the coffee at that 229 level. I don't know where the coffee is trading right now but my assumption is that that, 220, the, that 229 level held really good and it would be pretty good so that's what we're looking at. Yes, oh beautiful bottom and bean oil you're absolutely i'm glad you brought that up z let me bring this up to you because that was one that was just really screaming at us hold on here i think we'll be able to get it up here one second here yep here we come yeah we i think let, tell me if we made this i've been so involved with stocks and commodities and uh, scott stocks and corn stocks and gold and crude oil uh and the australian dollar i didn't really focus on the oil but did we get down to that uh that 5180 level in the March uh, oil Z, I, I'll have to update that later. But that was a beautiful ABCD pattern uh, right at major support. Yep, it held really well and probably bounced really good. I missed that one because of the concentration I'm looking at with gold. Of course, I can't complain because, you know, we were short gold into the break and then bought it and it had a good rally. So we were just got the the the, the, the trading god smiled on us uh, that particular time. Hey, by the way, folks, uh, do something nice for your neighbors this Christmas week because so many of them are having such a great difficulty, you know, just making ends meet. Even in the area here in Tucson, we see so many homeless people, and uh, they, they do need help. You don't have to do a lot. Make sure they get a meal or something, and, and that, that's really the bottom line because it's tough. And, and I hear the weather is relatively nice, even though we got down to 39 here in the desert last night. Think of these homeless people you know, uh, that are really in really bad shape. That's uh, that's the main thing. By the way, if you want a really good pick me up movie about that, rent uh, down and out in Beverly Hills with Nick Nolte and uh, uh, 
Richard uh, Dreyfus. That's a, and uh, and Bette Midler. It's a fabulous movie. It'll just make you laugh. And it's uh, it's all about uh, how a homeless guy comes back and you know does really good. Anyway, let's uh, we got a break coming up here, and we'll be right back. I'll cover some of the other things that we want to cover to alert you to what's getting ready into the future, especially in the foreign exchange markets. I'm going to be writing a special report over the holidays here. And uh, we'll get that out to you later on. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, we're back, and I posted the chart, a couple charts that I wanted you to look at. Of course, one was coffee. I also posted the chart of the cotton. You know, that's been absolutely, just absolute perfect technical analysis chart. We had a 135 lower tops. Uh, we had a beautiful ABCD at the bottom, and we're in the midst now of making another rally. It looks like we're not going to succeed much above that 108 level in cotton. I don't trade cotton often, but this is one that really is lining up. Uh, pretty nicely. So uh, that's going to be on our watch list this coming week uh, for sure. Uh, Mr. Z was talking in the room here, the Trader's Den, about the fact that we've got some 
major cycle stuff coming here uh, very shortly, right into the equinox here. It comes on the 21st of the month, which will be next week, and we want to be able to talk about that. We'll be bringing in uh, Shane Smolian next week with the Wolf Trader to give us some ideas of some of the implications of the equinox that we have. I was fortunate enough to go to Mexico a couple of times, once during the fall equinox and another one during the December equinox down to uh, – Teach Anitza to see in the pyramid of the sun and watch the the as the sun hits exactly above the the pyramid it forms a snake and it goes down through the side of the pyramid looking like a snake going out into the jungle you can google that just go to Chichen Itza Equinox and you'll be able to see uh, that snake uh, form as it does and you stop and think the mathematics of that it only happens once a year on that day it's the only time it does it and it forms this beautiful snake that goes right down the side of the pyramid <laughs> it'll flat blow you away folks makes you a believer in something what it is i don't know but we'll have to pay attention to it uh, no matter what i want to wish everybody a really wonderful weekend and like i mentioned before you know try to do something nice for your neighbors by the way you know what i'm going to do here is i'm going to offer a special next week for anybody that wants to use the ai program uh, for maybe like we'll do it for like a two month uh, uh, trial thing, and I I will donate all. The, I, it's a hundred dollars a month. I'll donate the money to the folks down in Mayfield, Kentucky, and we've got access to people right there in Kentucky that'll get the money to you, and uh, do you'll be able to do that. So listen, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, folks. See you on Monday. Mm-hmm.